Warning, this video contains strong and offensive language for educational purposes. If that's going to offend you, don't watch. Okay, um, so today is March 7th, 2012, and um, this is a day that um, has been set aside to spread the word, to end the word, um, and in this case, the end word is the R word, and the R word is retarded. And first of all, I really encourage you um, to uh, sign the pledge and to do the best that you can uh, to really put, start policing yourself for eliminating the casual word, use of the word retarded from your vocabulary. You know, if you uh, please obviously don't use it to refer to people who have intellectual disabilities. Um, please don't use it to refer to people who have developmental delays. Uh, but also, please don't use it to refer, to refer to your friends or yourself if you do something uh, stupid, right? Don't say, ugh, I was being so retarded. Um, that's unkind. It's linking a negative thing that you did with a sort of person. Um, and uh, I think it's a very good idea to police yourself and avoid doing it. Um, I'm going to include a link to a really wonderful video uh, that also troubles me um, regarding the use of uh, the word uh, retarded. Um, and um, the reason uh, the video troubles me is that it's, um, it's beautifully produced, and it's very moving, and it's very effective, and I, I hope you'll watch it and get the message. And that you will um, that that you'll appreciate the work that the Treasure Valley Down Syndrome Association did um, in producing it. But I hope you'll also ask yourself the question: and um, if you're ever producing something like this, I hope you'll ask the question: Why not include people with Down syndrome? You know, I think. To hear these messages from the brothers and sisters of people who um, are affected by Downs is very moving and very effective and wonderful, and I want to hear these voices. But I think whenever you're talking about how something affects uh, a group of people who whose voices are often dis, uh, ignored, and certainly that includes people with Down syndrome. Um, it's real important to involve their voices in the discussion. 